Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today's tutorial is an answer for many of you who have asked in the forums uh, about a tutorial on how to create a quiz using Quick. So at the end of this tutorial, you're going to be able to have something like this. What's the color in the sky? You can say oh, it's green. No, it's wrong. Yeah, it's blue. Oh yeah, it's correct. And you can go to the next question and do the your magic here. Okay. So as I mentioned, the forums creating tutorial uh, quizzes uh, requires several different uh, approaches. You may have questions coming from outside uh, an external file or in a variable inside Quick. Uh, you may have random questions. So today I'm going to show you how to do one ways, uh, one way to do that, which is using uh, tables. But again, feel free to expand my initial thoughts with your own implementation. So let's see the project. So here I have a project I'm calling Toot Quiz. And as you can see, it's just one page. It's a very basic one. You're going to be able to download this uh, to this file, of course, uh, in this, this uh, tutorial page. But what you see here is a bunch of layers. Uh, you have the background, you have this button next, you have three buttons, which are these three green ones here. Uh, I'm calling them but A, but B, and but C. Uh, I have this text here, which is T questions, meaning the text of the question. Uh, TA is the answer A, TB answer B, and TC answer C. And also I have this one really right or wrong, uh, which is this text here. Okay, so basic Photoshop file, nothing fancy, nothing. So in order to do that, the first thing that we have to do is to create a few variables. Okay, and the, maybe the most important one is the one for handling, in fact, all the questions and answers. So in order to do that, you can come here in the tool set projects and page and go to create variable because I did it. Uh, you're going to create this one here. I'm calling uh, this variable quiz. Okay, It's going to be a text one, but one important thing that you have to select is this here. This is a table. Okay, So without this, I could come here and write anything in Quick. Uh, we'll transform this as a text. But because I'm, I'm telling Quick that this is a table, uh, we need something special here. So what I did here is to write this line of information here. Let me show you in another uh, screen. So this is the text of my variable. Between brackets, you have each question and uh, its respective answers. So in our case here, we will open a bracket. So it's going to be question one or package one. So what's the color of the sky? Is the, the question, comma, option A, common option B, common option C, common option D. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not option D, the correct answer. Okay, so in this case here, what's the color of the sky? The correct answer is blue, which is it's going to be option C. Okay, and the second question is going to be which number is even, three, four, or five, and the correct answer is going to be four, so option B. So you can create a, uh, your list of questions following this, this format. So after that, all you have to do is to copy and paste it here in this area. Okay. So with that, we just created the first uh, variable, which is, again, the list of all the questions and answers. Okay. So uh, another thing that we need to create is variables to show the question, to show the answers, and to show the, the correct uh, input from the user. So what we're going to do is we're going to create also a variable called quiz A, quiz B, and quiz C, which is, again, the, the, the answer that we're going to see here. And as well as we're going to have this quiz question, which is the question. So again, you can come here, just select create variable, but because I did, so I'm going to open quiz question. Quiz question, it's the name of the variable. I'm entering any value here. I'm just entering question, but this is going to be replaced by the, the, the correct questions. Okay. So we're going to do this for each one of those uh, texts here. Okay, this is just a text. There is, it's not a table. It's just a simple variable. I did this for the question. I did it for the quiz A, which is this answer A. I did it for the quiz B, 
we see and also I did this for this area here which is uh, I'm calling uh, right or wrong okay and I'm leaving it uh, empty again because it was gonna, it's going to be replaced automatically okay so the next thing that we have to do is to associate these variables to dynamic input because again uh, we need those fields containing text changing accordingly okay so we can come uh, here then again like let's select the t question one you could come here in the uh, um, layer replacement and select dynamic text replacement which i did so because i have t question i have this t question all i have to do here again is to associate a variable to this field and what I'm doing here is again, because this is the question that I want, I'm associating this to quiz question. Okay, I'm doing the same for TA, TB, and TC, which is again, text A is going to come from quiz A variable, text B is going to come from quiz B, and text C is going to come from quiz C. And I'll do the same for the right or wrong. I select the right or wrong, again, come here to dynamic text replacement and this is going to be created for me so it's coming from right or wrong all right so this way we are going to we are setting the infrastructure right so the next thing that we need to do is to create another variable which is going to be the one uh handling the correct answer okay so i create this this variable here called quiz answer and again it's just a text nothing else so this way, every time that I extract the question, the first three options, I also have the correct uh, answer. So saying that, the next thing to do is to create uh, an action that will randomically pick one of the questions from our table, right? So I create this, I also come here in the, again, uh, page and, and project and page two, uh, tool set I came here to create action and I create this action that I'm calling act pick question okay so I add an external code here if you're not familiar with that you can come here and code external code because I did it I have this this code that I, I enter here let's uh, evaluate this code here uh, what I'm doing here is first thing I'm creating a new value or a variable called uh, selected question and I'm using this uh, Lua function that randomically pick a number between the first number and the last one so in our case we know that our uh, uh, table our quiz table just have two questions so we pick a number between one and two if you put three four five ten questions it would be between one and ten right so this way quick will select one uh, number for you it could be number one or number two in this example then i'm going to associate those values to the different variables that we just created so quiz question in fact i did it twice so let me select this here and delete so quiz question is going to be the selected question uh index one because remember it's the first field in the between brackets quiz a is going to be the second field between brackets quiz be the third one quiz C the fourth one and quiz answer the fifth one so with that I'm associate the correct values to each one of the variables but again I have to tell the screen to refresh itself so this is what I'm doing here with those lines so refresh the text of T question using quiz question and you can follow the, the. and also every time that we use this it's important to clean up the right or wrong text so this way if you switch questions you're going to have an empty field uh, with this this option so saying that let's create this create okay if we start our project now we are still not be able to see the questions because we're not telling quick in any moment to update those those things here so in order to do that we need to start this this uh, action as soon as we start our project we could create a timer for that but I think an, easy, an easiest way to do that is just coming here in the add external code which I did 
and just enter this this line of uh, which is pretty much the name of the action that we just created with brackets and um, uh, amp, uh, parentheses opening and, and, and closing at the end. It means uh, it tells Lua to run this action as soon as it starts. We are going to set this at the bottom of the page so this way there's time for uh, quick to render all the screen elements and, and then pick a question. Okay, so let's create this. Now that we create this, uh, we are able, for example, to publish. Let's publish. And we will be able to see just one selected question and the numbers. But there is no way at this moment to move to the next question or to test if the, my pick is right or wrong because we didn't set any button yet. So let's do it. Let's, let's set the buttons. First button that we, we are set is the next one. It's the simple one. Okay, again, select next. You can come here to interactions, click button. I did it already. I set this button here. I call it button next. Again, I set this as an external code. You can come here again, code, external code. And what I did here was simply do the same. Uh, enter the name of the action close with um, parentheses at the end. So this way, every time that someone click the button next, this action here will refresh, meaning that a new number will be selected. Everything is going to be redrawing the, in the screen and the users are going to be able to select the answer that they want. So let's create this. Now what we need is to set the buttons uh, on side of each answer. Let's create a button. Let's pick the but A, which is the first rectangle here. Follow the same process. Interactions, add button. I did it already. Loads but A. And again, I'm set an external code here. The external code that I'm set here is, 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 is a simple one that hopefully you're going to be able to follow me here. Not just for visualization purpose. Let's just review this. So what we have here is we have an if and again we could do that you would be able to do that without external code using just the um, condition interactions in, in, in the in the button but I decided just to enter code for me it was uh, faster. So what I'm telling quick is if variable quiz A which holds now the the correct answer uh, i mean the the content of uh the first line equals the answer quiz answer then okay we are gonna put the right or wrong text equals to correct if not it will show wrong as simple as that okay and we create and we, uh, we are going to repeat the same process for but b and but c for me, I prefer to do it in a faster way. So what I did here was I select the button A, which I had just created, coming here to copy. Okay. I select but, but, but B and use the paste. When it pastes, again, I put but B, paste, and now I have two. <laughs> Let me delete one of them here and, and create it again. But B, all right. Uh, but B and now that I have but B all I have to do is to again to edit in and switch quiz A by quiz B in nothing else create and you can do the same for the but C with that you have your project let's publish again and now for example which is the which number is even three is even no it's wrong four is even oh yeah it's correct five it's wrong next question what's the color of the sky is it pink wrong is it green wrong is it blue correct so you have your quiz created with quick and a few lines of external code hope you like it take care bye bye